to the mayor and the city council of the city of Pine Bluff. I am here in support of Ms. Brenda Davis Jones, chief of the Pine Bluff Police Department. Shouldn't have been terminated. She was terminated because she's a woman and she's black. Huh. What no. gives you the right to fire her? The statement you made in the Pine Bluff commercial was that you were terminating department heads because you felt they were not qualified. Where Mel Holland were, all the department heads that you talked about terminating are black. So what do you really have in mind for the black community? That's something that needs to be stated. Mm -hmm. Other than trying to send us back 150 years. Oh, no. I know you're Caucasian and have the attitude that black or slave shouldn't be supervising Caucasian. If the blacks in position were in position before you fired them are educated with Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Arts degrees, what makes you think? They are not qualified. Brenda Davis Jones brought the technology of the Pine Bluff Police Department to a new level. <laughs> she performed her job, and as far as Cassandra Hall's mom, she wants closure. Do you know how long she's been missing? Where, where are your facts for finding Brenda Davis Jones? We would like for you to produce the facts since it's our tax money and you work for us. We're 75 to 80 percent black in this time. So why do you want to be mayor of a town that's majority black? Have you walked in our shoes? Do you know how it feels to be black? You are showing us your true colors. If, you, if you're white, you're right. If you're black, get back. If you're not part of the solution, if you're not part of the problem. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. My name is Sam Whitfield. I am a concerned citizen of this community. I came here tonight to address this council on the present crisis that we are in. I want to inform the community on facts on facts that have not been reported in the media, yes. on facts that have not been reported on the television show. Even before Mayor Hollingworth was sworn in as mayor, she was improperly involving herself in city business, such as Mayor Hollingworth directed, directly involved herself in mediation hearings in Little Rock and in Pine Bluff prior to being sworn in as mayor. Mayor Hollingworth and her husband directly involved themselves in the hearing involving the Park and Recreation Director who was subsequently fired. It is at this point that now the mayor wants to, to uh, close down the Park and Recreation Committee. At the time of their involvement, Mayor Hollingworth had not been sworn in. As a result of the mayor's direct involvement, she is now calling for the abolishment of the Park and Recreation Committee. Mayor Hollingworth personally called. Mayor Hollingworth personally called Chief Brendan Davis Jones days before she was sworn in, and specifically stated to her, Chief Jones, I want you in my office on January the first at two o'clock p.m. It was said by this mayor. Chief Jones informed her that I want to be with my family on New Year's Day. It was replied by the mayor. You must make a decision between your family or your job. <laughs> Please note that Mary Hollingworth had not been sworn in. She had this conversation with Chief Jones. Prior to being sworn in, Chief Jones assembled a panel of people to interview <coughs> prospective applicants for the interim chief of police. The panel was composed of people who supported her and not a cross-section of this community. Approximately six or seven people were interviewed. Yes, were interviewed by this panel. All of the candidates were white males. White males. Mr. Field, your time is up. I'm sorry. 
Assistant Chief. Which you meant to I thought I had a great spirit there, man. Yeah. Assistant Chief Whitfield, the highest ranking black office, was not given the right to interview nor inform on this. Thank you, Mr. Whitfield. There's two ordinances which we gave out Friday that govern uh, the hiring uh, and firing of your police chief and your fire chief, and I just need to establish which one is the governing body, which one is law. I mean, as far as the basis for firing the police chief, I mean, you really haven't said um, that publicly to our viewers anyway. I'm wondering if you could give a reason. Under new leadership, we just, we, we just decided that the first services were no longer needed. Why is that? Because we just decided her services were no longer needed. Did she not perform to standards that were set? Her services were no longer needed. I mean, but that, I don't think that these citizens are going to accept that as a transparent form of operating government. I've been advised that is all I can say right now. Is that by legal counsel? Yes. 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 To me, like the, the issue of the interim chief is only one in the city of County. Is that what's causing the well, no, not necessarily. You have two different governing bodies that state what the residence requirements are. So we're trying to establish which one is actually the law. I hope very soon. I hope very soon. When, when the police chief was fired, was there any, was, are you the primary person that made the, made the decision? Yes, I was the person that made that decision. Yes. Was you? Was there any influence? Uh, any any influence from any outside sources, or was that your personal decision? Well, no. Her services were no longer needed under new leadership. As far as that selection, public comments on the other night. Were there any that were retired police officers, and those were the ones that we interviewed. And we had a panel of five people. Yes. We had five people. Is there a way that we could submit an FOI application and get the copies of those applications? Um, I don't. I don't know. You have to get the brief on that. I can answer that. Because it, it doesn't make any difference. Race doesn't make any difference. We look at qualifications only. Only. Can I can tell you that we campaigned for 19 months to say that race is not an issue here. It's based upon trust. And that's the way that I still believe some people seem to want to focus on that, but not us. We're remaining on our platform, we've got goals, we've got different projects on board, and we just do not look at race, we look at the person's qualifications, who they are. One, one question, did Chief, I, Chief Ivan Winfield, was he ever looked at as a candidate for the internal? Uh, uh, we decided at that time to bring in a retired person so that those that are presently on staff could apply. That was the purpose of what we did. Was Chief Winfield ever looked at as a... We brought on retired retirements so that we could look at them and put them in on a short-term basis so all the other ones could apply. So we had no problems with anybody taking on a particular position on the interim and uh, we just wanted all to be as honest and free and, and uh, above board. For folks who are going to be watching the news tonight, what do you think is the most important message to come out of tonight's meeting? We had our first city council meeting of 2013 and it was great. And just moving forward. Moving forward. Right. There have been complaints in the past from past the administration that was in the group. A lack of transparency, a lack of difficulty communicating uh, with the public.